I serve the on desire. New tomb hype! Well, we definitely need gonna need some uh, extra tea in chat right now. Can't just raid someone's tomb without having a good uh, sip of tea first. Ooh, new cognition gauge. Maybe. Maybe. I'm really tempted, though, to go with this to get the better axe. Really tempted. Let's have a look at our tech, though, for now. Wow, are there four levels of that? Because if there are, oh my goodness, that would be amazing. We've got all levels of the uh, curator claw. That's amazing. We have got a couple of these ones, decent ones. Another one to go. Okay, what else do we need? Oh, we've got quite a few. And this is a hidden one as well. Uh, use five canticles. I <laughs> used one. Uh, use ten canticles. Uh, use twenty canticles. Okay. Canticle of the Iron Soul. Kill three bosses. Canticle of the Iron Soul, level 3. Kill 5 bosses. Perform 300 physical attacks. Chant of the Remorseless Fist. That would be nice. Shroud Psalm. Uh, that will give us 6 energy armor. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Choose a little momentum. Move 5,000 meters. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check on Migos Ariokas. And since Occam has been desperately volunteering this whole time there you go Arkham welcome to the Adeptus Mechanicus All right, we need to get some up upgrades for you um, then we're gonna go down the roots of another en engines here but there are certain things that we need for everyone to have We can start actually branching down this properly. Mm, looks like that. We have enough for one more. There we go. <laughs> I figured I would have gone all troll. No, not that much of a scallywag. I am a scallywag sometimes, but not that much of one. Alright, let's get you at least a little bit of extra armor, otherwise you'll die super fast. Next up, we do... Well, actually, before I give that to you, I need to... Oh, there we are. Belial. I need to sort out a little bit. I need to take that one off. I need this one to be on there. But that's going to require a little bit more... Boom. Now heal a redonkulous amount. 10 to 12 HP. That was amazing. It's got a cooldown of 2, but with you, we'll only have a cooldown of 1. So you could use this every single time. You can just spam heal every turn for 10 to 12 HP on a single target. It's ridiculous. But amazing. Uh, you'll get the level 1 version of them. For the time being. I more or less want everyone to have this curate. Um, the uh, Cognition Mechanend, right? Uh, you can have a normal Cyan Axe. I'd like you to have a basic Phosphor Blaster. I'm going to give you the Infestus Mechadendra as well. Oh, Malachi, thank you. Not trying to bribe you with bits. I do this every time. But if you get another priest, think of me. Maybe. I will definitely try to. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I, I will be absolutely honest. 
if it weren't for the fact that Arkham w has had cheered like five or six times during that last mission, I probably wouldn't have thought of his name either. It just not out of any any disrespect. It's just names aren't going to stick in my head for that long. But um, thank you so much for the cheer. I'm going to feel so bad. I'm going to feel so bad if I forget. Please, chat, remind me. Remind me. Um, the gamma pistol, actually. Yeah, I like that. I'll equip you with both of those. There we go, though. Ockham is ready, and it's already at rank 7. Really would like the power axe. I don't want to go to Ubarjo anymore. It's kind of boring. What are you, a cryptech? Man, it would be nice. What are you, Ekropis Sector? Adamantium Alloy. There's just a lot of blackstone here. No, let's go to the new tomb. So whichever one takes us to the new tomb, it will be you. So the Melob Sector. A universe Katari with experimental bionics has been lost in the tomb of Melob. So Bo Domina Capra has requested they be recovered on behalf of the Cessus Metallicans and Medicaid staff. Very well. Let us launch the mission. <sighs> Alright. All of our tech priests and our ranged Skatari. The Medicaid staff on the Cessus Metallican have asked that for my assistance, Migos. But with my forces already stretched thin, I cannot spare any manpower. Do you believe my tech priests have such spare time and resources in abundance? The staff were insistent. One in particular, a pharaoh surgeon, Caliglux. The Skatari unit carrying several of her experimental bionics has been lost in the tomb of Melob. They demand that experiments be recovered. It is concerning that a Medicaid staff are in the habit of using our Skatari units for bionic experiments without consulting the Magos in command. Still, that does not mean the request is without merit. Especially if these new bionics can be used to improve the combat effectiveness of our troops. Seems reasonable. It is 5 a.m. Giant mechanical balls. Uh, this is one place that I, I like to go, of of a of a midnight weary, where I can get a, a a delicious some noms. But after five, it switches to their breakfast menu, and I can't get said delicious noms. I just have to have the uh, uh, breakfast noms, which aren't less delicious. Well, they're not not they're just less delicious. Hope. Oh well. I have an approximate last location of this Qatari unit. Given the length of time they have been out of contact, it is very likely they are dead. My new revolt returns sadness at this prospect, but something can at least be gained by their sacrifice. The Bionics will have been given a thorough field test. So you're going to get them back? Whatever killed that unit will still be down there. Quite apart from the use we might make uh, of the data, is it not the way of the cult mechanicus to seek knowledge through all means, even war? Of course, Magos, and I'm grateful. This pharaoh surgeon, Caliglus, did not strike me as someone I should disappoint. Poor Ava can only get less delicious noms. I know. Here's the solution. Continue streaming until delicious noms are back. That would be about seven hours from now. I would need at least another break after this. Also, I've got like a video I'm meant to put up later. Damn it, and I haven't already uploaded it. Ah. For what's worth, I came here more or less as soon as I woke and haven't eaten yet, so assuredly it's a portion of your pain. Well, I mean, I haven't eaten since 10 p.m. 
The night before yesterday. <laughs> Vanya, I'm a fan of breakfast at any hour myself. I mean, you know. Let's see. Ooh, this is a nice big bolt. I like it. Okay, let's uh let's hit a couple of these first. This chamber contains a gruesome but intriguing sight. On a raised section of the floor lies a Sektari trooper, partially dissected. The trooper's augments have been removed and arranged around him as if for inspection. The rest of the chamber is plain, with no sign of who or what performed the dissection. Recover. Take the bionics. They can be repurposed with implantation into another Sektari. Research. Search the chamber for clues as to what happened here. Uh, recover. I knew that was going to happen. The cohort take the bionics from the slab and pocket them for a return to the Cessus Metallican. However, a stream of scarab constructs emerge from the hidden apertures beneath the raised slab and devour the Skatari body before their eyes. The suddenness and completeness of the corpse's disposal is deeply disconcerting. Ah, uh, such is life, I'm afraid. One of the squad was searching for, by the look of it, but its augments are gone. The rest of the squad take them, or did the Necrons? Skatari trooper lies dead, much of his body torn away by gorse blaster fire. It appears his augments have been removed, leaving gaping surgical openings in his body, along with more recent wounds. Uh, investigate. The body was killed by Necron gunfire, and the augments were removed shortly after death. The multitude of tiny wounds around the augment site suggest the mandibles of Necron scarab constructs. There is no sign of where the bionics are, but the fact that Necrons took them suggests that the Enos are at least aware of their significance. Hold on. Um. No, I want more. I want more Necrons in the next fight, so we're going to keep wandering around a little bit. We'll get up here, then go clean that one out, then we'll take care of the others. Anything you can recover for me bring, uh, to bring back to the Pharaoh surgeon would be gratefully received, Mavis. A corpse lying in the chamber ahead may be of, of the, one of the fallen Skatari unit. However, the cohort can hear Necrons Looking nearby, dapper. and recovering the corpse's bionics would well put them in danger of being outflanked. Oh, thank you, Malachi. You've just given it five new subs for a total of 18 on the channel so far. One sub to Minsk ship, Lady Wolfheart. What a lovely name. Uh, Farmer Will, and I don't, I can't even make make a name out of those numbers. But K4N0, thank you, and Jarvis, thank you so much, mate. That was incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Incredibly kind. Of you. Please put some love in chat, and make sure you fill it with tea or coffee if you must. Right. Let us see. Um. Scourge. Okay. The cohort charges into the shadows, intent on surprising and annihilating the Necrons surrounding them. They find nothing but empty chambers and hollow scarf guy. Evidently, the Necrons are employing misdirection and subterfuge to throw the cohort off, cohort off track. And they have succeeded in wasting a lot of the cohort's time. Well, damn it. I dislike it when you get initiative. Looking dapper. Oh, thank you very much for the gift of Belial to Felis Anna this time. Belial has given 25 subs on the channel. Thank you so much, guys. I, I, I'll say again, you, I really can't overstate how much I appreciate that. Uh, we'll go with this one. There we go. Let's go grab this glyph, and then we'll hit this point. Plasma Caliber. Resources required to create a Panzer Caliber are low on this mission. As a result, Skatari Vanguard are not permitted use. Luckily, finding the STC fragment allows tech priests to use the Caliber without the requirements of mass production or resource management concerns. Very nice. Fires in a straight line, passing through all units. Deals 7 to 9 energy damage to targets, destroys 1 energy armor and 0 physical armor. Wow. Expensive, but wow, if you can get people in a line, that's going to be amazing to use. Belial is super kind. Super kind. Right, 
Wonder Protocol, most fascinating, appears. Cryptek and Necron are equal engine seer of Adeptus Mechanicus. They embody plus repair, plus defense, plus support for other units. Most similar, almost disturbingly so. In that, we can find common ground. Shock. This is a first. There is a verse in Know Thy Enemy to Know Thyself. With scripture, brother Magos Tech Auxilium Prime noted, in each society there is this classification that is mirrored in another society. It didn't really make sense before. Must start recording. Recording started. This moment with the Videx agreement. <laughs> yes, yes, very little mirrors between Mechanicus and, and Imperium, so I couldn't find the parallels before. I didn't expect to find them in the Xenos race. Yes, all good, but what is this creature? Designation, Cryptech. Only sighted from afar, unknown data. Scanner destroys Xenos technology. So good scanning. Okay, you're easy to destroy. Praetorian should be a little bit of a problem, but... Um... I would like Arkham to closer to the rear here. LMC further up. Belial much further up. And Leaf in a little bit back. Start battle. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, but. I hate you. Stole all my, my CP. Oh dear. Can you do much melee damage? Yes, yes, you can. Ouch. That looked like it was going to be painful. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, Arkham. Oh dear, oh, Arkham. Arkham, oh dear. That was a critical. Five damage critical, okay. Thankfully, Arkham is still alive. Whether Arkham stays alive, difficult to say. Arkham may be about to die. Oh, thank goodness they went for the closest. Okay then, first and foremost. I can position myself in the right spot. I may be able to wipe these two out with my uh, flamer without causing too much issue. Question is now, since that is a melee unit, whether I can get back or not. I can. Amazing. All right. Activate this for now. Um... Extra info out of this corpse, please. Take this corpse down. Scan this one. Blast it to oblivion. And that's your lot. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Don't get me killed already, Arkham. 
Ah, uh, you have no faith in the Omni Omni Sire. If, if you ah, you, Scallywags, clearly I've named the wrong person. Most disappointing. However, you can get me some extra cognition, right? Uh, and then promptly scan something for me. Yeah, there's nothing worth scanning. That is most sad. Uh, really awesome stats. What do you like? Only nine. That's not very difficult to kill, actually. Good. Uh. Nice. Very good to see. Follow that up with this. You can get a high roll, particularly nice. Very good. Follow on up. And kill it with an axe. Oh, beautiful. Ockham, that was a good hit. That was a seriously good hit. At this point, though, I don't want you to push any further. So we're going to end your turn there. We will swoop past, gather a bit of uh, cognition, take one of them out with the Mechadendrite. Take the... Uh, that doesn't actually count. Go ahead and boost Askatari's damage potential. Sure. Okay. Um... Go ahead and get up here. Please go and scan. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. And why that is fine. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm at a bit of a tricky decision, but I think we're okay. First and foremost, use this. Promptly kill this if you can. Not, not too bad. We at least know what it can do. Trigger your flamer, please. Ooh, I wonder. Might actually be able to hit two of them. Quite, quite a lot of them, actually. Let's pull back a bit. Glorious. Do it. Oh, I love that weapon so much. So much. Um. Pick it out. Go stand there because you'll gather some uh, items from. Could you buff my troops, please? Oh, actually, that won't help. Hooray for Bernie Bernie Death! Indeed, Daikaru. Daikaru, rather. Daikaru? What am I going to say? Welcome. Abaka would like a flamethrower, please. Uh, I'll build you the way I think you need to be built. I'm not taking requests. Or at least not for a brand new character. enough damage there. Okay. Not a bad situation, this one, but uh, roll back a little bit. You, you also want a winny gun. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Right. Now then. 
Let's do a little bit of damage to you, please. Hope of hell. Or odd place to have hope. Thank you very much for the raid, Dave. Please pop out some tea. Maybe a doily or two. We don't actually have doilies. I wish we did. Um, of the two. Sure, let's take... We're not going to use up any uh, points on this. We're just going to wipe you out. We can't possibly fail to do it for that. Go ahead, wander up. Thank you. Grab two extra cognition points, please. A higher amount of damage would be nice here. Thank you. Finish this off. I am going to allow someone to take damage here. Just so that I can... Is that still destroyable? Yes, good. Just so that I can break this down. We do need some doilies. That's a good point. Um, just take that out. There we go. Down a bit. It'll go back up by one, but... Well, actually, if you go wander over there, you might be able to take this out with a good hit. We're very lucky. Damn it! Energy walls! No, I don't need to deploy it. It's fine. Just a little bit of acid damage. Go. Now, who is damaged? Uh, quite a few of us, actually. All tag priest, please. Take this out. I think our Skatari unit is fine. Uh, but I will cleanse you anyway. And we can finish this off, hopefully. There we go. Wow! Okay. Not bad at all. Did well, there. Signs of a firefight cover this chamber, both gorse fire and rad rifle shots. It is likely the lost Skatari would pass through this way, fighting a running battle with pursuing Necrons. Investigate the chamber, investigate the Skatari. Uh, investigate the marks from the gorse fire. The teleportive field. Uh, sorry, the teleportive fire stripped away layers of tomb walls, revealing arcane technology within. Perhaps this is part of the machinery that facilitates the tomb's awakening protocols. In any case, wiring and components can be stripped out and repurposed for use in the tech, for the, by the tech priests. Eradication wave. Fires in a straight line, passing through all units. Deals 9 to 13 energy damage. Wow. And if the machine spirit is fully charged, no cognition points are used. The eradication wave spells death to any cause in its pallid light. Those on the periphery of its cone-like emissions find themselves discorporating, uh, discorpori uh, discorporating, melting like smoke into nothingness. Those unlucky enough to be close to the muzzle are simply rubbed out of existence. Wow, sounds full on. All right, got a couple more areas to explore. A man portable lens, yes, more or less. Okay, four HP. Don't think we needed it, but thank you. Occam, you want everything! Oh my lord! Necrons are uh, reanimating one turn earlier. In the chamber ahead is the brazen sight of a Skatari trooper suspended from the ceiling, displayed like a trophy to warn of those who might be following the lost unit. The Necrons must know the cohort is coming, and are either trying to scare them off or lead them down a false trail. Um, check the corpse for clues as to what it means. Oh, well. 
That's not too bad. Too late. One of the cohort spots the bundle of crystalline explosives implanted into the cohort's, uh, corpse's chest cavity. At the cohort's approach, the crystals detonate, showering the troopers with razor-like shards. Having stumbled into this booby trap, the cohort has not only suffered injuries, but have clearly signaled their location to the Necrons. Uh, that's true. I can't blame you for wanting that, actually, Narka. You won't be getting it, though. There's other better troopers for it. Good. More meat for the grinder. It might be one of the experimental augments we're looking for, but what is it doing lying here? A single bionic lies on the floor of this chamber. It's still bloody connection points, suggesting it was very recently torn out. Diagnose. Can the Necrons infect our bionics now? Wonderful. The Baroque proves to be a host of a rapidly replicating data virus that must have caused it to be discarded in the first place. Though it appears to be one of the advanced augments, the device is destroyed to prevent its spread any further. And on to the final fight. Too hard. Oh, we've got some turrets. Yes, we do. Where are they facing? Outwards. Okay. We've got a scan there. A shield generator. What the dickens? Hmm. I disapprove. My levels of approval are vast. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring all of my troops into this one. Okay, so it's just basically giving things additional armor. Okay, that's a lot less terrible than I thought it was. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Who are they going for? Poor Arkham. They seem to like you, Arkham. They sense weakness. Okay, well, thankfully, Belial is getting a turn again. So that means that you can be saved. How much health has that got? I don't know, but let's find out. Actually, no, we want to take you out. Mm. Can I shoot through that? No. Well then, let's bump up my energy damage, turn off the use of points for this attack, hopefully take you out. I'd like some more cognition please. Come up straight away. And promptly axe you almost to death. It's critical. Right, if you've got armor, I don't believe you've got much of it then in that case. back to full health. Find out about this for me. It's a lot of health on that, wow. Okay. Grab a little bit more cognition from this corpse. Try and axe you. Didn't do much. One damage. Okay, there we go. Not 
not going to use up a point of cognition just to get over there. We're going to stop here. to boost um, you. And then oh, that's a bit of a tricky one actually can't hit it from here would be able to hit it from here Three to four, please roll high. Oh. oh well. That's fine though, we can get in there. Grab some cognition from the corpse. Um, axe you. A little bit more cognition. Promptly followed by killing you. All troops for their next attack, I would like you to get a little bit more powerful. Okay, we're going to have to wait until the next turn to be able to do that. Alright. I can hit a couple of enemies, but not the one I want. Oh, actually, I can I can strike the uh, shield. Seven to nine. Don't know how much damage I'll do to you, so I'll go for the shield. Can I do that again? No. Ah, damn. Okay. Oh, good. You presented yourself. I approve. I won't do that much damage to it though. No, we'll go for this one. Six damage, not bad. Draw back a bit. Deals one damage. Uh, let's find out about you actually. Okay, mostly physical. It's actually good for us. We'll take you out completely. Nice. And do a little bit of damage to that as well. But I think that will be it for now. Oh actually no. Let's draw back. Kinda locked in due to these things. We can at least get some extra cognition points. And then take it out. I think... Other than myself, everything is healed. Alright. Ending turn. Okay, there we go. Of course, all kinds of nasties have just dropped out. Oh, and that adds armor to everything within its range. Oh. Ockham, you've got to stop. You've got to stop this. You've got to stop luring in the Praetorians. I flies the honey. It's really bad. Especially when they do five damage each time. Super bad. Thankfully, of course, Bilal can fully heal you. The sense is greed. Indeed. Indeed. That, that's almost certainly what it is. Nothing else. It's just his greed. Uh, okay, we can hit them all with this. Let's go for that then. Yeah. No, 
nice. Grab this as well, please. Those two. Make your way all the way over here, please. Grab these three. Then get over to the scanner. And do the scanny thing. Awakening down. Uh, let's see what you do when we're in close quarters. Uh, you've got one of those staffs, though, so I'm not really wanting to see that. Oh, it didn't take it out. Wow. It's actually kind of impressive. Scary, in fact. Uh, moving away wouldn't help. Because it can just fly. Remaining. I should have destroyed that first. Damn. Hey, an amazing girl. How are you doing? The cohort locates the fallen unit, their bodies lying where they died, in the last stand against the Necrons that surrounded them. They clearly took a great many of their enemies with them. The cohort harvests the experimental bionics from the bodies, saying words of prayer for these valiant fallen. The Pharaoh is taking an inventory of the bionics we return to her. She seems excessively interested in the condition of the corpses. A natural curiosity for all matter, uh, matters fleshy, fleshly, as I understand it. It is to be hoped she can par uh, parlay the data she gathered into making these bionics safe for widespread use amongst our Skatari. I don't think I'll be volunteering for them. The Necrons are bad enough. But if I were to pick the most terrifying thing about Silver Tenebris, it would be Pharaoh Surgeon Caliglax. She is on our side. A fact for which I am very grateful. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh. That Cryptek was worth 40 by itself. That's quite nice. Very nice. Mission success. There we are. Over 50% now, though. It's a bit worrying. Worrisome, rather. 